Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is our sixth video of our series where we are deploying Palo Alto uh, virtual appliance on Azure platform with the high availability. So in this sixth video, we'll configure NAT and security policies on both of our virtual appliances. So let's move back to our virtual appliances. Go to firewall one, click on policies. All right, so let's configure a NAT policy first. So click on NAT. Okay, so in NAT, the first firewall policy that we are going to create is the outbound NAT. This is the policy that will be used to send traffic outside. It could be your internet traffic. So the source zone will be trust zone and the destination zone will be untrust zone destination interface will be one slash one that's our RAM. interface or untrust interface service will be any source address will be any destination address will be any in source address translation will select dynamic IP and port in address type will select interface address and will select interface here so interface will be uh, one hyphen one all right so what what does does this policy do so it will send all uh, trust traffic which is destined for untrust using this interface for any service and it will translate using the untrust ip on the untrust interface so click ok similarly we'll create another policy for our load balancer so um, let's go back to our drawing so as per this drawing, we'll be configuring two load balancers, internal load balancer and external load balancer. So for this external or internal load balancers to work, Azure needs to send a prop traffic, which will find out whether the uh, load balancer is healthy or unhealthy. For that reason, on internal load balancer, we will allow port 443. That's the reason we have configured our management profile on the trust interface with the uh, which will allow port 443 traffic to azure load balancer ip only and similarly on external load balancer we will allow traffic on port 22 which is ssh and this um, traffic will be acknowledged to azure load balancer ip which is which starts with 168 so that uh, we will have a status whether the azure load balancer is in healthy state or unhealthy state so let's go ahead and create two inbound net policies one for external load balancer and one for internal load balancer for internal load balancer we'll allow port 443 and for external load balancer we will, we will allow port 422 which is ssh port for similar reason if you go back to our network and interface management you can see for trust management profile we have allowed port 443 and for untrust interface we have allowed port 22 ssh and it is allowed only from this particular ip which is azure load balancer prob ip so we'll discuss about this more in detail in coming videos so for now let's go back to our uh, policy section and create two net policies so first net policy we will create for our uh, wan interface so click add call it uh, we'll call it az azure lp load balancer probe underscore van so source zone will be untrust destination zone will be untrust again because the traffic will be sent towards the untrust interface of the firewall destination interface select like the untrust interface service will be ssh so let's create a service quickly Click on new service SSH SSH destination port 22. That's it. Source address. So let's add the source address here. Okay. So we don't want this traffic. But we only want traffic from this IP address, and the destination will be the untrust interface of our firewall, which is 192.168.200. Four. This is first firewall, so 192.168.200.4. All right, so that's it. We don't want this traffic to be translated because 
firewall itself has to acknowledge if there was a service or port forwarding um, or a web server behind the firewall then we could use translated back that we will use when when we configure inbound net uh, for our rdp traffic but for now because we want our firewall to acknowledge this traffic so we will not configure translated packet click ok similarly we'll create another policy for our internal load balancer so click on clone all right so click on the policy all right so we'll rename it to LAN. so azure load balancer prob LAN. so in this case the traffic will be from the trust zone destination will be trust zone as well and interface will be one slash two and the service will be four for three as i explained earlier and the destination in ip will be the trust interface ip of our firewall which is 172.16.200.4 uh, let me just cross verify 172.16.200.4 yes that's correct that's it we don't need anything else so our net policies are done so we'll just reorder that outbound net should be in the bottom all right all good now let's move on to security policies so we'll be creating four security policies first for the internet so click on add under security policies name it internet source will be our trust zone so this is only for the testing environment for the lab environment so that that's why i'm not adding any source address or user but according to your in production environment you should be adding all these settings according to your needs so for now we'll just select trust zone in the source in the destination we'll click uh, we'll select untrust zone applications will leave default as i said it's just a test environment but in production environment we should uh, configure specific settings according to your requirement so second policy that we are going to configure is uh, for the internal traffic which we'll call LAN to LAN. so this is the traffic which will uh, allow east west traffic between the between the uh, test vm networks so we are going to configure two test vms so both vms need to communicate to each other for that reason we are configuring this policy which will allow trust to trust traffic so in source we have selected trust in destination also trust in application and services will leave default but you should configure according to your requirement and it should be a specific policy so internet policy should be in the bottom and LAN to LAN should be in the top now let's configure two security policies for our inbound net so let's click on add okay we'll call it AZ lb probe uh, lan source will be trust for the lan source address will create a specific policy so we'll add specific ip address here with slash 32 destination will be trust interface on the firewall which is 172.16 or 200.4 and in application uh, services we'll add https because we we'll want to receive traffic only on 443 that's it rest leave the board and i want this policy to be on top because it is most specific policy and then i'll clone this policy once again to create the same policy for our van uh, or untrust interface this untrust interface will be used to receive traffic from our external load balancer so let's rename it quickly we'll call it van source will be untrust untrust zone ip leave default destination will be untrust zone as well and we will add the ip address of our untrust interface on the firewall 192.168.200.4 we'll verify that 192.168.200.4 yeah that's correct in in services it will be ssh now because we want to receive traffic on port 22 that's it so we are done 
with uh, policies security and net policies on firewall one so i'll go ahead and commit the changes similar policies needs to be configured on the firewall two so i'll pause the video i'll configure the same policies on firewall two and we'll get back to you once these policies are configured all right so similar policies have been configured on firewall two as well if you go to firewall two click on net so we have uh, we should have three net policies here uh, outbound net should be in the bottom let me move it quickly move in the bottom all right so net policies are configured and the security policies are also configured on the firewall too so that's it uh, i think we are done for this video if we go back to our project plan in video six we had to configure net and security policies on both the virtual appliances that's done so now in video 7 we'll create and configure nsg for management and WAN interfaces and assign WAN ip on our interfaces all right so let me know if you have any comments or any feedback uh, we'll see you in next video thank you